Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. We have finally made it to Perth. If it looks like we're in a jail cell right now, that's because we are. Our accommodation choice for Perth was inside Fremantle Prison, an old prison renovated into a hostel where you can roam the hallways, learn about its history and play table tennis in the prison yard. You can even stay inside the prison cells in the original prison blocks that held real life prisoners only 30 years ago. <laughs> this is so cool. Sit down, this up. Like down there. This is so cool. Are the other cell blocks? Like a proper cell block. So cool. It actually says outside each jail cell who was in you and why they were in you. Who was in Alice? Uh, we've got Alice Leggett. She was born in Northampton Island and she was in prison for three months for stealing from the person. See what the toilets look like. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, there's bars on the window. How cool is that? It looks like they've even got like an original shower block. How cool is that? Original toilet block outside. And the this wallet. is where you'd wash your hands. Oh yeah, all the prison wall is. Like oh that's yeah. That's where like the police used to like. Patrol. Yeah. It was time to explore the streets of Fremantle, a port city not far from the centre of Perth. This place has got like a really cool Victorian style architecture to it. Yeah, but they've also modernised it and there's a bunch of like cool hipster cafes. They've got like acai bowl places, so like they've really tried to, so I think they're the youngsters here maybe. Yeah, it definitely seems like a trendy area to be yeah. in. We're currently outside the oldest public building in WA, which is the old roundhouse prison. Yes, the reason it was so high up is because it intimidated the prisoners because everybody could look up at them. Yeah, it was built in 1831, which is, I'm assuming, around the time that people started turning up here. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a cannon. That would be pretty cool. Don't they set off a cannon somewhere in Fremantle? Yeah. At 1pm? <laughs> I don't know where though. It could be this one. But yeah, we have made it to the Indian Ocean. I did not know it was the Indian Ocean. Ashley just told me that behind the camera. <laughs> After wandering around Fremantle and checking out the Shipwreck Museum, there was one more thing to see before heading into Perth. I can't believe how big this thing is though. It's just like a massive rainbow container. It's called a contain bow. It's really cool being underneath it. Like you can just see all the rainbow colours all the way around. It's so cool. One day rider ticket. We've just made it into the city, we've come straight to King's Park first. This park is bigger than Central Park in New York. It's actually the biggest city park in the world. We're not going to get a chance to walk around it all today, but there's a few cool places that we do want to check out here. Yes, okay, so this is the famous spot that we actually wanted to come to. We've got the view of the skyline. That's a pretty good skyline. And then you've got the view of the water as well. This is such a cool viewpoint. This is definitely the best viewpoint we've seen from a park in the city. 100%. Like, we've literally just come into Perth, and this is basically the first view that we've had. Wedding photos not permitted on Walker. Okay, I promise not to take a wedding You can't skateboard, here. can't take your dogs, can't cycle, and you can't take wedding photos. <laughs> <laughs> that's so random. I mean, it does look pretty cool. You've got this walkway area that's well above the floor. No wedding photos, though. No wedding photos. No, I'll take your wedding photos here. Yeah. This is the last stop we come to in the park. It's called the DNA Tower. Because it's shaped like a DNA. It does really is shaped like a DNA as well. I'm really impressed. Does not look like the most stable structure in the world. But we're going to go up right anyway. 900. 101. That's so annoying that it was 101, not 100. Why don't they just make it 100? I know. So you kind of have like a 360 degree view, but you kind of don't because these trees are all in the way. So. Yeah. yeah. Trees are a bit big, aren't they? Not the best viewpoint in the park. Why is the whole thing shaking? Because someone's walking up it. Oh my god, it proper shakes. I told you it's not very stable. We could have spent hours in Kings Park, but it was time to head into the city centre. We've just made it down to the Elizabeth Quay now, and it's a really modern area right on the water. It's really cool, it's like a nice vibe. Yeah, it is. I think there's a couple of restaurants, and apparently there's like an island that you can walk across to. This part of the city was amazing, and the architecture was insane. But what we came across next was something we did not expect to see in Australia. This doorway led us into an alley that felt as if we'd walked into the set of an old Victorian film. Assuming it's going to be like touristy shops, like little 
Yeah, like little like souvenir shops. Yeah. And things. Looks like something from like. Yes. <laughs> Looks like the street we went to in York. It does. After a busy day exploring the city, we had one thing on our minds. Five dollar chicken palmies. Chicken palmies are known in Australia, right? Yeah. And we haven't had one yet, so I guess we're gonna give this a try. It's like a pizza topped chicken schnitzel. Good. You're gonna love this. And then it was time to check out some of the beaches on the west coast. We'd heard some pretty good things. Lived up to its expectations. The sand is so white. The water looks a little bit rough, but it might still be clear and nice and blue. Okay, we tested out the water in Bondi, right on the east coast in Sydney. The first day we got, no, the second day we got to Australia, and now this is one of our second but last day in Australia. Yes, it is. And we're going to test out the water here in Colstow. 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 Oh, I didn't really get me. Oh, it's pretty cold. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, that is quite cold. It's not as cold as Bondi, but that is still pretty cold. I thought, freeze, yeah. I thought the water was meant to be warmer. On west side. On west yeah. side. It is the Indian Ocean, so I thought it would be as well. But it's definitely rough today. It's really rough. Mm. Oh! I just said to Kelsey to be careful where you stand because there's glass everywhere. But it's not glass, it's jellyfish. What cool is that? It really does look like it's black. Yeah. I don't know how poisonous these are. The West Coast beaches definitely lived up to our expectations. The white sand, the blue skies, I can imagine them being busy on a hot summer's day. We were lucky to pretty much have the whole beach to ourselves. It was a great way to end our first day in Perth. We even managed to find the perfect spot for sunset. We've been sat here for about an hour and a half across the sunset and it's an absolute fail. Yeah, it's not best. The clouds are in the way, but we have meant, I'm meant to have a bit more of a clearer day tomorrow. So let's hope that we see a bit of a better sunset because it's our last night in WA. So it's the only chance. Although we only managed to have one full day in Perth, we really enjoyed our time here. This city has such a relaxing atmosphere and we can see why people rave about it so much. We've been all around Australia and can see similarities of other places within Perth. It all feels familiar and comfortable to us now after spending so much time here. With just one more day in Australia, we're feeling very grateful for our time here, but it's time for a new adventure.